I am Torsten Krause. I'm senior lecturer at Lund University Center for Sustainability Studies, and I'm also a teacher and coordinator of the Earth System Science course, which is a course that the first semester students who come to Lund to study Loomis are taking. The goal with this course is to understand that things in and around us are connected, connected to society, connected within each other, and for the students to obtain a systems dynamics perspective and understanding that these things are interconnected and also what does it mean for sustainability and for sustainability science. So today is one of those days where students are doing practical um, assignments where we have uh, three stations in Lund where the students are practicing the skills of how to do biodiversity inventories, uh, how to identify different tree species, how to actually do sampling, how to take water measures, how to measure the pH of water and how to actually differentiate different types of freshwater lakes, ponds, uh, streams. And in the one data collection exercise that I am leading, we're looking at land cover and land cover maps, trying to map the changes that have occurred in land cover in a specific area in Northern Skorne um, over time. For many students, the ESS, the Earth System Science course, is quite a challenging course because it is very much leaning to the natural sciences. It covers a lot of material. It's very broad. Um, usually you would study these things over a number of years, but it's an introductory course in order for the students to understand how different things that are outside of society, how things in nature, in ecosystems, biodiversity, the atmosphere, the geosphere, the hydrosphere, how actually these things work for all that we know and how different components in the systems interact with each other and ultimately how we as human beings living in society, how we affect these processes and also these processes, how these affect our society. And then including how environmental change driven by human activities actually leads to changes in these processes that will ultimately affect human society as well. And for students, the main message is always understanding that nothing exists in isolation. Everything is connected to one another and whatever we do has repercussions and has a certain feedback reaction outside of society.